I try to serve as a muse because it is chasing a mystery. It really is. And yeah. it's, it's like slowing down and trying to find your thoughts and your feelings and try to be original with it. I, I like being poetic and speaking in metaphor. Mm -hmm. I think it's more powerful that way. Oh, it is. And yeah. that's uh, your, your first big hit, Where Have All the Cowboys Gone? That was, that, there was, yeah. <laughs> I, I am not the brightest bulb on the porch, but I got the meaning of that song immediately, and there were people who didn't. They, yeah. they got it wrong, and I, I find that hilarious now, so many years later. Yeah. Um, did, is that something that you've sort of incorporated throughout your music ever since then? Was it something that you did before then? Um, I mean, that was kind of an anomaly, that song. Like, mm -hmm. I was trying to weave in some humor and mm -hmm. irony, yeah. and it was kind of a gender role statement you know, what women do in relationships, what men do in relationships. It's all in there. And there's, and there's real sadness, too. But I was so surprised by the reaction, and it became a debate, you know. Yeah. What I find interesting, though, is like Gen Z, they really get it. I don't mm -hmm. know. There's something post Me Too that they really, really get. My yeah. music is just cool. Kids these days surprise me. I, I got to say, my era, we didn't always get it. But <laughs> kids these days, man, we're in good hands in some cases. In some I cases, agree. we're not. But in some cases, I we know. are. Um, can I, I didn't ask you about this beforehand because I, I didn't know about it. Can you tell me about the musical that you were working on? Can you tell me what that was about? Sure. You know, and I don't know if it'll ever see the light of day, but it was about um, the second wave of feminism. Mm -hmm. It was about Betty for Dan and Helen Gurley Brown, who was the editor-in-chief of Cosmopolitan, sure. and a woman that people don't know. Her name is Florence Kennedy. She was like the first black woman at Columbia Law. A lot of the uh, work she did legally ended up being um, arguments for um, legalizing abortion in the federal courts. And she single-handedly allowed for legal abortion in New York State. And she's just not even known. And she was so brilliant. So these three women and like the 1969 Women's March, we were, we were writing this musical. And um, it just it wasn't a good fit, me and the other women. It's, it's sad that it didn't work out. But I'm now working on my next musical. I don't know what that's going to be yet, so don't <laughs> ask. <laughs> But is that, a, is that a never thing or just a not now thing? Is it, is it possible it might come out later? Um, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. It might come out as another incarnation with someone else's songs. Sure. So maybe I'll release the songs separately. I don't know yet. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed because oh. it sounds fascinating. All right. yeah. um, we, um, 